Hey there, viewers. Welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. Got our 2018 Chrysler. It's a Pacifica. It's got the big 3.6. It's a used car guy special. And it's fresh from the auction. One thing you need to know about the auction is not all cars from the auction are junk. But all junk cars are at the auction. That's what they tell me, anyways. He bought this baby, money lights on. It's got a loss of communication with active grill shutters. It's some of the GMs. It's got the grill shutter in front of the radiator, just on the lower half on these, I believe. Uh, he admittedly put a used one, in, or not a used one, an aftermarket one in it, and the light remained on, so he had his guy take that back out and uh, lick his wounds, and, and he bought an OEM one. Uh, when he bought the OEM one, the guy at the dealership told him, hey, there's lots of problems with these harnesses, so he sold him a harness for it too. So evidently it has an OEM uh, active grill shutter in it, and it has an OEM harness in it. And that's all I know. And at this point, you know, he wanted us to uh, look at it because the light's still on, so there's still an issue. He told me there is a connector under there that somebody has repaired. He wasn't, uh, did, didn't have access or didn't have a wire diagram or something to figure out what wires what, or, or at least uh, just knew it was kind of beyond their abilities. So uh, he wants us to have a look at it. It's a pretty simple system, uh, just like uh, General Motors or any of the other active grill shutters that run on a Lin bus. There's only three wires, a power, a ground, and Lin communication, so the local interconnect network. So this, this module communicates back and forth with the engine control module, so it's just a single wire network. So essentially, like I say, three wires is what takes to make it run. Uh, one of those three things is, is likely missing or um, he has really bad luck and just got a bad shutter. Now I did do a little bit of poking. There is some service bolt-ins on these for some updates and uh, wiring problems depending on the production date that they come wired backwards, something like that. So I figured before we got too deep into it, let's, let's have a look, let's identify the components, let's find the connector, let's check for power ground and for communication and see if we're missing one of those three things. So I look under here. Got your classic zip ties. <laughs> Need to trim them off. Uh, this is the connector right there. That's the connector on the bottom of the active grill shutter. Like I say, three wires, power ground and uh, com. And those wires run over there. So I don't know if that's the harness he put on it, probably, or the harness the mechanic put on it. But I go over here and that does look new. Yeah, and then it goes up. Okay, so that's the connector he's talking about that has been spliced. Okay, so that's that one there. That looks like a Chrysler, factory Chrysler job because of the uh, crimp and seal or the heat shrink seal, whatever they did there, solder and uh, seal. I mean, it, it looks good, it looks professional. Um, hopefully it's pinned out correctly. So before we even visit that or look at that, um, let's, Let's see what we're missing here so we know what we're looking for. And uh, let me unplug that and grab us a test light. And just for reference, here's that code uh, U11E9, uh, lost com with AGS, so that's active grill shutter. And he told me that when you you know clear it, it comes right back immediately. It's like uh, turn the key on and off uh, twice, or start the vehicle twice and the engine light comes right on. All right, here we go. We've got red, black, and white. Red, black, and white. Red and black's gonna be our power and ground. We're gonna very lightly just hold our front probes here. Oh, we got power and ground. That's good. Uh, let me grab our little scope here. So this is our AES Wave U scope, our little pocket scope. Some of you guys asked about this in the last video. I haven't been asked about this thing in quite a while. If I remember, I'll put a put a link to that so you guys can see that. And a LIN bus is typically 12 volts. Uh, the, I think the master module supplies the voltage and then the slave module is the one that pulls it down to send the signal, I believe is how that goes. So let's just see. So I would assume in this situation, make sure I got a good connection here. I'll show you guys what I'm seeing here in a minute. Let's just check for 12 volts. Okay, we got it. I would assume, oh no, look at that. So we've got, we've got communication on our LIN wire going from 12 volts to ground. It's interesting, I wouldn't, wouldn't have thought with it unplugged we would have, but let's, uh, let's see here, let's change our 
volts per division at five volts per division. Yeah, we've got computer talk. Interesting. Why aren't you working? Maybe it is. Let's see. Pin one is ground, pin three is power. So let's just verify that. One is ground, three is power. Let's make sure our data bus stays when we plug it in. Got 12 volts there. And it does not, it's when we plug it in, our data bus goes right to ground. Very interesting. Let me unplug this again. When I unplug it, our data bus is back and that is 12 volts because it's five volts per division. I just wanted it smaller on the screen. So our data bus comes back. There is four pins inside of this. There's four pins, only three pins here used. So pins, yeah, one, two, and three. Let me go look on a wire diagram to make sure that's correct. I do remember reading something in a service bolt and there was something about production dates and flip flopping wires and, but I didn't read it that heavy because I wasn't, I don't know, wasn't into it yet. Let me go see. So look at this. This is the, uh, I guess the beauty of reading through some service articles on an update to this actuator. So vehicles built on or before April 10th, 2018. So ours was built January, 2018, have the following wire and connector pattern which is pin one ground, which we have, pin two LIN, pin three power, which is the way ours is. Vehicles built on or after April 11th, 2018 have been updated wiring connector pattern for active grill shutter. One nothing, two power, three bus, four ground. Due to this change, it's necessary to use this wiring kit on vehicles built on or before April 10th, which is our vehicle, to arrange the wiring pattern to match the vehicle wiring and the updated active grill shutter. So this makes me wonder if this dude got, cause he's got the brand new shutter from Chrysler, you know, so does that mean it's, it's pinned wrong? I, I'm gonna assume so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He didn't tell me it came with any kind of, I would assume it would have come with this paperwork. They can't be selling these things and not telling people. I wouldn't think uh, I'm going to do a little more digging here. We might have to, they tell that pin, we might have to switch around because that connector that they tell you that you need is simply just that four wire connector uh, that goes into, you know, into the active grill shirt, the four pin connector, not the big one up on the, uh, up on the side. So that's, that's kind of interesting because there is four pins inside that shutter, but boy, you would think, you would have think it would have thought it would have came with some paperwork. Let me do some digging here. Um, it's too late. It's after hours. It's almost 7 p.m. Uh, so I can't get a hold of this guy to find out if it did come with anything. So I don't know. Pretty interesting though. I think kind of the pisser of the whole thing is is that's a brand new harness from Chrysler. You know why don't they fix it on their end instead of still selling you a harness that's you know not. Well, I'm assuming it's not pinned correctly. Boy, this thing is tiny. Well, I've never tore one of these apart, so I'm gonna shut off my camera. I'm gonna get a needle here and kind of poke around some things. It looks like it comes apart from the backside, but well, that'd be a shame to have to buy a new connector and cut up a brand new harness, but um, well, let me see what I can do. Okay, let me go get the correct orientation. Oh, sugar, you know what? We might not be able to because we have to use pin number four. This is why you have to buy a new connector. Ain't that some sugar? What a bunch of scumbags. We already de-pinned it. No hole through number four, dog. Ah, uh, bro, if we just, just, we just de-pin this thing, we could probably, by theory, we could stick these up in there. Ain't that some stuff. 
I didn't even think to look at that before I tore it apart. Well, shoot. Well, that sucks. <laughs> we have to buy the freaking connector. So here's what I did. I just took the pigtails and stuck them up in there. Power ground comm. So pin two, three, then four. Two being red, three being white, four being ground. Now let's just take and uh, plug this little guy in and see if we have uh, communication there now. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it with you uh, in the way, but let's see. Well, I can't. Let me move you. So I short anything out here. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I saw it. Let's try to reach up in there. Oh, look at that. So now we have communication with it plugged in. We should have to check anything else. I mean, that's, that's our power wire, 12 volt communication wire. <laughs> look at that. So how it's wired with the, with the OG wiring is, uh, is wrong. It's pulling that data line right down. I mean, that's some stuff. Ain't that some stuff? That brand new harness, right from Chrysler, brand new grill shutter from Chrysler, and the dang thing is wired wrong. It makes me wonder if that aftermarket one that he had, where you guys at? I'm trying to talk to you. It makes me wonder if the aftermarket one he had is any good. <laughs> it probably was, but it was probably wired like this more modern one. So let's let's see if the grill shutter works now. And um, it didn't do anything when I plugged it in. It didn't you know spring to life i think you need to cycle the key because i think it goes through a self calibration test from what i read and understood it goes full open to full stop to learn it stops um so let's just cycle the key see if it works and then if it does then we know we're in business okay, so right now it's closed mm, smell that used car guy slime in here whoa that scared the pudding on me now we're back in the run position Doing anything down here? Nope. Ain't doing nothing. Let me start it up. Hey, it's doing something now, boys. Okay, this went closed. Now it's coming back open. Okay, I want it to be open. Well, look at that. I think we fixed it, boys. Of course, without a, you know, without the bolts in there, that paper, we we wouldn't have known. Uh, Let's see, it's, it, they always come up as stored codes on here, so yeah, it's still stored. Uh, we'll erase it. It's continually monitored, so I'll start it a couple times, make sure it doesn't come back. So put our brake pedal depressor on there. Where's the button? Whoa! I keep scaring myself here. There it is. every time. Yeah, look at that. Open. Hold that closed. That closed again. Oh, it must be it wants to be closed this time. Alright. Let's see if we threw any pending codes. No codes detected. Yeehaw, I'm gonna start it one more time just to be on the safe side. Yeah, because apparently it can detect uh, whether or not it's frozen based off from. Oh, something's got a blend door going stupid on it too. Based on uh, fix, uh, yeah, outside air temp. It's what they say, what I was reading. some kind of logic that it's doing. Good, no code, yeehaw. And it sounds to me, oops, in order to fix this, that is the part number that we need. I don't know what the world, what the world was I thinking that I could have just swapped that. I could have looked at that, you idiot. And then you see on this side here, there's not even a slot for the wire, just a slot for the three, so. I guess we can uh, leave this off. Kind of sucks, like I said, brand new harness. Oh well, win some, you lose some. Order that, wire it in, plug it in, move on with your life. So that's it, folks. Uh, I'll probably just give it back to him there, guys. His shop will be able to uh, 
cut and splice that in. I'll give him the part number because he kind of wanted us back in a little bit of a hurry because he did have it sold. So I decided to stay late. Uh, good guy. When I say the used car guy slime on the inside, I'm talking about all the slimy stuff the detailer guy puts all over the inside. I call it used car guy slime because they usually come in pretty thick <laughs> with the with the old dashboard slime. Uh, but that's it. Uh, you know, just kind of lack of knowledge probably on their part, lack of service data or whatever. I don't know. I wouldn't have been able to fix it unless I had uh, unless I had that because according to the wiring diagram from what I could see it was wired correctly pin one two and three were power common ground so um, When the dealers or when manufacturers come out with updated stuff like this That's why it's very important to have good service data so you can look when you say, you know, hold up <laughs> something ain't right because it's all there. We got power, we got ground, we got communication, we plug it in, we lose communication. We obviously don't lose power and ground, um, or it doesn't short out because we don't blow a fuse. You know, that thing was carrying four amps of current. Um, kind of silly. I don't know why manufacturers do, do what they do. Um, why they make it one way for one year and then after that they switch it and then, and then they still sell the harness that's wired the wrong way, but maybe that's because it could still have the OG, uh, grill shutter in there it's kind of first design second design stuff gets kind of annoying sometimes but anyways don't let me get annoyed with you by not leaving a comment head down there questions comments concerns find us on our socials insty facebook just remember viewers if i can do it you can do it thanks for watching